So it goes like this. So we've had seven years of austerity and we were told by the Tories that if we could just tighten our belts for a few years, then we would somehow or other, the economy would be better and we would have enough money to be able to invest in public services. Well, that just hasn't happened, has it? You know, at the moment, we are, our public services are on their knees and we are told that we have to continue like this because somehow or other, it's all going to be fine someday in the future. Well, it's not. And what we need to do is we need to have an entirely different way of approaching the economy. You know, this government in the next five years is going to cut 76 billion pounds in taxes to the richest and to corporations. So don't tell me about austerity. So at a time of austerity, they're cutting 76 billion pounds from the, from the taxes of the richest. And what we would say is that we are the sixth richest country in the world. Our, we have more people sleeping on the streets now than we have had for years. A quarter of our nurses need a second job. And many of them have to go to food banks. Half a million children last year went for three days emergency food supplies. It cannot go on this way. We have, so, to, we have to do something about it. So put, and put, we put, will. put numbers to it. And we will. And yeah. I tell you this. Put numbers what? to it. Put okay. numbers to it. Because the so question the, so was, the 76, John McDonald okay. asked for billions to right. be spent. How so, many? So there's, so there's two things, right? One is day-to-day -day spending. And that £76 billion, you could spend £4 billion of that as the chief executive of the NHS has said, in order to stop the five, billion, 5 million people on the waiting list next year. So spend 4 billion on that. You could spend another 4 billion on lifting the public services wage cap. That would be another good use of the money. But we've still got an awful lot left of the 76 billion pounds that the Tories are cutting in taxes. But All right. when it comes to investing in infrastructure, then yes, we borrow. And we have talked about 250 billion pounds over, over a 10 year period in order to invest in things like Crossrail for the North, you know, super fast broadband for everyone, investing in our infrastructure and getting our economy going. Because the way we're going, we are just going downhill. And there has to be an alternative vision, and we have it. Okay.